Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are doing an updated makeup routine, which I've actually been getting requests for, and I don't usually get requests, so when I do, I'm like, yes, I have to listen. It's silly not to listen because like sometimes I literally have such a hard time figuring out what type of videos to make. My creativity levels are like either super high were super low and they've just been super low lately yeah I've been loving this routine I have some new products but I also have some pretty core products that I love and swear by and can't live without so I hope this video helps you guys I hope you enjoy it and let's jump right in the first thing we're gonna start with is skincare go in with the Kate Somerville wrinkle warrior and this is a plumping serum I've been using this every day day and night and i have been loving it now i'm gonna go in with the kate somerville goat milk moisturizer literally love this stuff this is so moisturizing makes my skin feel so good i always apply a super generous amount of this stuff because it's so dry in the winter now i'm gonna take the urban decay prep and primer spray we're just gonna spray this on lightly do our brows you guys know i always do this i always like kind of lightly draw them out and i know that they're gonna get kind of ruined when i do my foundation but it just makes my life easier I'm using the new it cosmetics micro brow power i love this i love a skinny pencil don't have to be perfect we are going to go back in and finish them up i've been mixing the becca skin love and the it cosmetics cc illumination so if you don't have either of these if i would suggest getting just one right now it would be this one i personally love the illumination not everybody loves the illumination the original is just as good i just want to be glowy even though I'm not. Shade Vanilla in this one and Light Medium in this one. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of this on our face. Taking my brush, I'm gonna apply some of the CC cream and just go ahead and buff it out. in with the CC cream and my beauty blender and just apply a little bit and just kind of go over my face one more time this foundation is buildable and I don't think a lot of people realize it is but I just want to make sure we are good to go especially because it's breakout season for me right now LA girl pro conceal concealer and this is in the shade toast a teeny tiny amount take my brush and just kind of lightly buff that out now see, teeny tiny amount is a lot. Like This stuff is super good because it is super creamy and easy to spread, but it definitely dries. So you only have like so much time to work with it. Buffing this out with a brush instead of a beauty blender just kind of makes my life a little bit easier. Forehead, it's honestly enough for my whole forehead. The Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and this is in the shade Porcelain. And then I'm also going in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair Light. So I'm mixing two of these together. They're both super creamy concealers. I love this Too Faced one. Then I'm going to take the Tarte one and just put a little bit of this in the corner of my eyes it's a little bit lighter so it kind of helps brighten me up a little bit a tiny bit on my nose and then some right over here because i've been really dark in the corner of my mouth so before we buff that out when we blend this i like to work really fast so i always have my powder ready to set going in with the huda beauty sorry all my products are so dirty 
I used to be like crazy and clean them before video, but ain't nobody got time for that. In the shade Pound Cake, this is my favorite powder. So good. It just looks so good. It looks so flawless. It's not drying. I highly recommend getting this powder because it's been magic for me. And I usually don't stay committed to powders because they don't excite me. You know, I've never really tried one where I'm like, oh my god, love that, need that every single day of my life. But this one I love. Love it so much. <laughs> On the beauty blender, we're going to take some of that powder and just set our under eyes. Set it a little heavier since we're going to be doing eyeshadow that is potentially going to fall down. Set the lids of our eyes. Just kind of going to let this chill for now. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. The first shade that I'm going to go in with is Tempera. This light shade right here. Orange soda and burnt orange, these two colors right here. We're just gonna mix them and put them in our crease. The shade Sienna. And taking a smaller brush, we're just gonna take some of that. Still just taking Sienna. I'm just kind of gonna wing it out a little bit. With rose pink, which is right here. Yeah, rose pink. This color is so pretty. I literally love this color. See how it gets down there? Mm hmm. Glistening in the corner. And then, just because I cannot live without this, I'm taking my Urban Decay Cosmic, which is like one of my favorites. And I'm also just going to put this right in the corner. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Powder. And this is in the shade Light Medium. And just kind of lightly go over and set most of my face. We are going to finish our brows. So I'm going to go in with the Benefit Cabral in the shade 24 hour brow setter and we're gonna be doing this and my brows might look a little crazy but mind you my roots are super dark so I always like to make sure they're kind of the same okay, so now we're gonna start doing face stuff it cosmetics bye bye foundation powder and this is what I put all over my whole face but I also have it in a darker shade I have it in deep honey so we're going to go in and kind of just start contouring with this. I really like this because the powder stays on so well on my face. With my blush brush, I'm taking this super lightly because this is super pigmented. Here, you know, give ourselves a little contour. Mm -hmm. I do our noses. This we have to be more careful about because like I said, super pigmented. It's very easy to kind of overdo the nose contour. So all I'm doing here is just kind of making my nose look a little bit thinner. This isn't anything different from what I've always done. So if you watch any of my makeup videos, I always do this and it's kind of just become a habit and I can't imagine not ever doing it. Kylie bronzer and this is in the shade Tequila Tan. This is a great color for the winter because it's not super duper dark. 
It's kind of just like a nice natural bronze. And then we're also gonna put this under our lip. and it's gonna look crazy right now, but just trust me. Trust the process. What am I gonna do now? I'm like all over the place today, you guys. I don't really know what's going on in my life. The Anastasia Amrezy Highlighter. You guys know this is my favorite. So go ahead and just start building that. Fenty Beauty Kilowatt, and these are in the shades Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. And I mix them both together. So now we are going to move right along to. We need to put some blush on. The Too Faced Peach Beach. Just going to take the middle pink shade and just apply this. This is just such a pretty, like flirty goldeny pink color then we're gonna take another kilowatt and this is ginger binge and moscow mule this is more of like darker reds and mix them and then put them here of course we are taking my beloved it cosmetics superhero mascara this is my baby i love her just start applying this I don't care what anyone says, this mascara is my favorite. I was thinking about getting lash extensions for the holidays, like, to make my life easier. But, um, I don't know. I just, I'm hearing so many mixed reviews. Pretty good for one coat. Got more coat of mascara. I love when people comment on my sh videos. <laughs> and they're like, oh my god! Four coats of mascara? What a waste. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know having beautiful, thick, dramatic lashes was a waste. Hmm. Weird. I'm going to take Sienna and Rose Pink. Apply a tiny amount on the bottom corner of my lashes. So we're going to take the KKW lipstick in the shade one nude absolutely love this lipstick i think she did such a good job and kind of just gonna hat that on and you're kind of gonna bring it up a little bit more like kind of overdo it see how it just makes them look bigger you're welcome <laughs> just kidding okay so to finish this look off this is the patrick ta body major glow body oil and i got the shade a vision we're going to take this and we're going to spray some on here. Rub it in. And this smells so good. Literally sometimes just put this on just to be like my perfume for the day. And that is it. We did it. We survived a makeup tutorial. Oh wait, actually we didn't. Set all of this with the Cover FX high performing setting spray. Okay, well, that is it for this look. We're done. We finished. Like, the worst at doing my own hair, you guys. Like, I can dye my own hair any day of the week. And I'm actually going to do a video on how I do dye my own hair pretty soon. I can dye my own hair. I can cut my own hair. But, like, to style my own hair, I just... I can't. I just fall apart. Okay, guys. So, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. That's annoying. That's annoying me. Sorry. We're going to move. If you like this video, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. This way you never miss a hangout with me ever again. Of course, if you did not like this video for some crazy reason, then whatever. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.